now let us continue swallow i feel sorry looking at you i don't say no to people i will help you and the little swallow is also a very good one so uh, it uh, cannot uh, deny people if they make uh, him a request so the little swallow decides to help the happy prince the swallow removes the ruby from the hilt with its mouth he makes the motions of flying with its arm he goes up to the cottage removes the curtain inside the cottage and the mother is tired and has fallen asleep her son is tossing in fever the swallow puts the ruby down near her hand then he comes out and draws the curtain he flaps his arm in flight and returns to the happy prince so according to happy princess wish swallow goes to the cottage and uh, drops the ruby uh through the window and then again comes back to the happy prince now the mother in the cottage is very tired and she has fallen asleep uh, at the time of stitching and her son was stitching in fever so now what will happen so after getting the ruby the mother will at first be very much surprised and then she would thought that some good persons have sent help for her then with that ruby she would go to market and exchange it with uh, some money and with that money she would buy food and medicine for her ill son in this way she would be greatly helped by the happy prince but she would not know who had helped him okay then swallow said it is a cold night but strange i am feeling warm so it is a great realization of the bird statue that happens when you do something good to help someone so the swallow says that as it is a cold night but it is strange that i am feeling now quite warm not feeling such cold as i was feeling earlier it is because that the swallow has done some good act so good as act brings us warmth in our heart and we are really very happy after doing good work so you can also feel that if you help your friends in doing in at the time of their need you will also feel that uh, kinds of place that a joy in your mind so that is quite common shallow i will lift for egypt tonight i will stay with you through the day statue shallow shallow little shallow please stay with me for one more night then the happy prince mac and again another request to stay another night with him so but all my friends are waiting for me tomorrow they are going to fly up river nile to luxor so the little all saying all my friends are waiting for me and now if i don't go they will fly uh, up river nile to luxor um, statue far away in a little attic I see a brown-haired young man he is unhappy and poor he is writing a play for the theater little swallow take one of my sapphires and give it to him swallow dear prince i can do that swallow little swallow you must so now again the happy prince discovered that there is a young man who is writing play but he was quite frustrated uh, uh, without money so the happy prince requested little swallow to give a sapphire of um, uh, from his from one of his eye to that man but the little swallow at first is not agree to take out the sapphire because the sapphire is the uh, eyelid uh, sorry 
that the sapphire is the eyeball of the happy prince. If the sapphire is taken, then the prince would turn blind. So the little swallow does not agree to do that. But the prince requests or told the little bird, you must do it. And the swallow takes the sapphire from one of the prince's blue eyes and makes the motion of flying, goes to the cardboard cottage. The swallow removes the curtain. The stage light changes to blue. The playwright is rebuilt. He sits holding his head in his hands. There is pen and paper by his side. The swallow quietly leaves the sapphire beside the young playwright. The young playwright discovers the rich stone. Soon after, the swallow leaves. He is overjoyed because the young playwright was suffering from financial problem. How he would publish his plays? How after completing his writing, who would help it to make it a book form? But now seeing the suffer, so he thought this suffer, in exchange of this suffer, he could get a good amount of money and that would help him a lot. So now the young man was overjoyed, playwright. Someone likes my work a lot, now I can finish my play. So the young man felt that who has given me the supper? It might be that the someone who liked my writing very well, so he sent that suffer for me. Uh, probably he understood my financial problem and helped me indirectly, though I don't know who the person uh, is. The swallow returns to the happy prince. He is resting on the pedestal shaped box on which stands the happy prince. The cottage curtain has been pulled by the young playwright without being visible to the audience. He leapt through the cottage back door and the writing exit. Swallow. I am here to say goodbye. The stage light changes to yellow statue. Then Happy Prince uh, points out another uh, painful sight of his land. I see a poor little girl in the town square. She has no shoes. Little Swallow. Please give her the suffer remaining in my other eyes. Shalo, impossible, I can make you blind. So now, the for the last time, the happy pin wants to help the mm, poor little girl in the town square uh, and ask the swallow to pick up the other sufferer from his eyes. Uh, but the swallow is horrified to hear this and he, and he says that it is impossible. Why? Because after taking away the other sufferers, then the happy prince would turn completely blind. He could not see anything and therefore um, the little swallow is opposing the idea. But the statue make him the request. Please help me little swallow. The swallow plucks other suffer from the prince's eyes. He goes to the cardboard cottage and removes the curtain. A little girl is discovered weeping inside. The swallow flaps its sounds and goes in. It drops the suffer into the girl's and girl. That is so nice. She looks up amazed. The swallow flies out. He pulls the curtain back, flies to the happy pins. The stage light changes to blue. Okay. So now, according to Princess Wish, the swallow helps the little girl. Uh, and the girl is greatly amazed to have such an unexpected help. And then the bird flies to the happy prince. But this time, the bird decides another thing. He has changed its mind that he will not leave this blind statue. He will be there 
uh, all the time there with this blind statue thank you next